Hello YouTubers. Today I want to show you how I nullbind mittens. I start with a row of stitches. In this case it is a finished stitch and it is from this, this width of my hand. And it is uh, 16 stitches in, in, in for my hand. All the hands are bigger, smaller. So, but it is the start of this stitches, a row of stitches. Then I make a next turn. So I go around and at the end, I show it here, at the end I am going to increase in that stitch and that stitch and at the end that is your your thumb loop the knot this is the thumb knot not this you count that as stitch two so one two three times increasing and then you can make it go around and that is what I've done here so I increased Here you can see increasing the stitches so you can go around and I made another color too. And then you have the same starting point as when I now binding socks. It's the same with your feet. You, you have a, a, a row of stitches as wide as your uh, as your tones are and with your hand is with your fingers so here you have this round this is the top of the mitten and it is still a bit a bit small you have to do the fingers a bit to, to get it but it has to be loose so I'm going to continue And then I, I already told at this side I'm going to increase two stitches here and at that side two. And you can see it the V. It's a V, it's a V two. And that and that. So I'm increasing two stitches at that side and two stitches that and so it's going to be, get bigger. Now is it nice. And now I'm going to uh, null binding just through here. So this is even wide this from here to there. So no increasing anymore just the normal round. And now it is going your hand is going to get bigger so I increase two stitches uh, in, in this side of your hand and here I don't increase. And you can see it already when there is a point you have to, uh, uh, here I'm going to increase and this is a very wide point and then I have to decrease because it's going to be, be smaller at this end. And that, uh, show you with the uh, mittens what I'm working on. I place that aside and this too. Here you can see I was uh, null binding and at that point this, this is normal null binding at my website needlebinding.com I have uh, a chapter uh, mittens how to null binding mittens and every stage what I'm telling here you can see it uh, writing and with pictures. When, where do I make my thumb? Here when you reach this point here, 
you go around, 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 and then you go over your thumb, and then you make a loose row of stitches. And the starting point of the loose row of stitches is there at the at the side at the side of your of your mitten. And I make it a little bit loose, so you can see, because the thumb doesn't go move at that way. It's impossible. It moves this way. So I have to start here. And it, the loop goes to here, and then I touch it. In my case, is this 18 stitches, and here are it's six stitches, which is every every has its own measurement. So you can already see that if I'm going to continue, I have to decrease on this side. This is here space enough. This, this I, I don't decrease. Decrease here. I decrease three stitches. At needlebinding.com you can see it to remember it what I'm ta taught. So when I'm continue, as look where's my example? This is the other. Then I'm I have already make the mittens, and I only have to make the the thumb i started here already here you can see how it's done but here i can show you how the the hand curve is so here i am you can see here i'm decreasing stitches there 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 and there the at the points at the points this point when i'm getting here i don't in decrease anymore. I just go normal now binding. So you can see it at how it is done. And now I'm showing you how I attach the uh, thread to your thumb and how to do that. So first I take off a little bit. Then I'm going to so this aside. I start at the middle of this row of stitches. So, and then my needle goes in that same loop or stitch. So, now I have thumb, one loop on my thumb, and again in that same under the thumb loop and under my working yarn. And now I have two loops on my thumb. The top loop slide from my thumb. I pull this a little bit and the needle goes in that same in that same loop. And again under the thumb loop and under your work thread. And now we are getting we have here two loops on my thumb and one small loop behind my thumb. It's a bit little, little, little bit a little bit loose yarn but it will do. So what I'm now going to do is the needle goes through that little loop under the two thumb loops and under the working yarn. And 
And now I have three loops around my thumb and one loop behind my thumb. One little one. So I'm now going to I first use this stitch, then that stitch, and now I have the position two loops. I slide this loop from my thumb. I have two loops on, uh, around my thumb and two, one and two behind my thumb. So I can start now in the, in the next in the next stitch. But I take all right. This is the old stitch and this is the next stitch and now I'm, the needle goes through both of stitches. That means I'm going to use the F2 connection stitch, the old loop and the new loop. And then it's, it's a little tricky. The first is always a little bit tricky. And this is yarn. What is not so working? It's always nice when you are making a video that it doesn't go the right way you like it. But we start over just like under. Under the small loop. Under the two loops. And of course, under your working thread. And this first loop was a little bit. This is how the top loop goes from my thumb. Again, those two. And then those two loops. Here again. So. And now I can go around and to create that thumb. So you go in all those stitches, you take two stitches, and here you have take that and you can see this one when I get to the corner, and that one. Here I have already almost the, the, the one round for my thumb. First I thread the needle. Op naald bindenpunt NL kun je ook zien hoe ik de wanten maak. I thought that the Dutch side you can have information how I null binding mittens. So I was going around and then Two loops behind your thumb, two under your thumb, under the working yarn. I have to watch that everything is 
that you that that you can see what I'm doing about the camera position. I have now an other camera position, and I have to check every time is everything you if you can see. And now I'm getting round. This one or the other one, the other one. Yes, two. And then you make a thumb. And that goes round and round. And um, yeah, I have another project what I'm working with. And now I can show you the thumb. Here you go round and round. And when you have uh, one round ready, then you can. Uh, increase one stitch and again another round you increase one stitch and when you are almost uh, uh, at the halfway your thumb needle you are going to decrease every to every stitch and then you pull the the, the thread all the loops from the thread and then you can take a, a darning needle and it looks like this and this this stitch is a uh, finished stitch uh, three loops on your thumb and two loops behind your thumb and f2 it's 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 more dense than just only two uh, two plus two and this yeah, flat. It is a flat fabric. It is still it is a little bit stretchy. And that is a project what I am working on. You can see it at uh, needlebinding.com. I uh, made other uh, mittens. This this kind of this color combination. And you can also, this is, here I have mittens, they are already three years old. And I, I put the mittens, the mittens on, and then in hot water, and soap, and then I have to, in hot water and soap, I have felt it and a little bit. And with these mittens, uh, there was not enough uh, this kind of color there was not enough so I continued here and then had a small edge of that color so now I know this is the left this is my left and this is my right null binding mittens it starts the same as null binding socks thank you for watching and see you next time Bye-bye.